Hey guys, Mr. Decker here. This is Code.org. We're in Computer Science Discoveries Lesson 11, Styling Elements with CSS. We are in the Web Development Unit. Let's jump in. Sample websites. So we've got a few little sample websites to look at here. Some of the things to pay attention to with these is that we've got images floating to different parts. This one's centered. Look at how all these images are put in here. And then you see this frame has these curved edges. We've got curved edges on this frame and a border. These have a border as well with different curves on those as well. So let's continue. Now let's get into the meat of this thing, shall we? All right, let me make sure that I'm totally started over. There we go. Now uh, your screen will look a lot like mine. So. Layout and style. Look through the web page below for new styles. Okay, so right here, like I was saying on the last bubble where we were looking at the example websites, we've got these four images here and they all have this brown border around them. Let me go to the style sheet. And let's look at the images. They're floating to the left, which is making them all be left of the text that's on the screen. They all have a width of 250 pixels, margins of 10 pixels, which means that the text can't be uh, closer than 10 pixels to these images. The border color is saddle brown, so my eyes are not failing me. The border width is 4 pixels. That's that width there or there. And then the border style is solid. If they had chosen maybe a different option like dotted or uh, something like that, it would look a lot different. And then border radius of 10 pixels. And I believe the border radius is what gives it that rounded edge. So if I change this from 20 pixels, yeah, you see the difference that makes. Automatically updates over there, which is pretty cool. All right. Um, Making the page appear different, what makes the entire page blue? Uh, up here in the body, we know that it's going to be blue because the body background color is light blue, which makes the entire thing light blue. Uh, how are the images positioned to the left and all of all the other elements? So I already covered that. And then in the next few levels, you'll be changing and adding new styles on this page. Okay, cool. So I guess we're going to continue coming back to this and uh, we'll see this website a lot. Let's see, background color. Find the code in the style sheet that is making the background of the entire page light blue. So we'll go to the style sheet over here in our file space, change the code to make the page a different color. Okay, so right now it's light blue. Hmm, background color. What color do I wanna make it right now? It already was looking pretty good. I don't want a very bright or vibrant color. Something that's not as boring as floral white though. A dark sea green maybe? Okay, well, I maybe not. For a food page, do we wanna go like puke green? Uh, let's see, antique white maybe? Yeah, we'll go with that because we have that saddle brown color bordering those pictures. That doesn't look too bad. Okay. Try to change the background color of just the paragraph. So down here we have our paragraph rule set starting on line 23. And it wants me to change the background color. There's background color. Uh, Aquamarine? No, that's way too gaudy looking. Um, let's choose something else. Azure could be good. Yeah, it looks okay. I don't hate it. Makes the text stand out some. All right, we changed the background color. Oh, don't forget my semicolon every time, man. Uh, okay, cool. Let's finish. And then the body element, it says find the body rule set in the style sheet 
Okay, let's go to the style sheet. Here's the body rule set up on line one. Uh, discuss with a partner what you think will happen if you add text align, color, or other text properties to the body rule set. So, okay. So text align. Um, let's align it to the right, maybe. Whoa, no, definitely not. Um, let's see what it does if I align it left. Well, it's it's okay until you get to the bottom of a paragraph and it moves the text way over here. Um, let's do center then. See what that is. Mm, okay. All right. That's what text align does. It's moving text around for the page. Eh, it looks okay. Let's see. Other text properties. Uh, color. It should just change the color of the text, right? Maybe. Kind of. Sort of. Not sure. Yeah. Changes the color of the text, which I don't hate that. Um, okay, we'll keep that. So it changes everything on the page if you put the rules in the uh, body rule set. That's interesting. Float. Look at the float property inside your image rule set. Okay, let's go down here. My image rule set, uh, look at the float property. So it's floated left. That's making these images float left. Um, change the value from left to right. Can do. Okay, so we see what we get from that. It moves all of the text over here and my images over to the right. Finish. All right, width and height. Find the property in the style sheet that controls the width of the images. All right, style sheet, image rule set, width of the images, right there on line 17. Um, change the width of the images to be larger or smaller. Okay, uh, let's, whoops, I didn't mean to do all that. Control Z. Here we go. Um, let's try just 200, shall we? Hmm. That's a lot more uniform looking. Maybe 225 I can get away with. No, it moves that one there. 220. Nope. 215. Oh, 210. All right, 210. <laughs> Goodness. Um, create a new rule with a height property to control the height of the images. All right, so cursor at the end of line 17, let's make a height property. Um, and then we'll choose a height. Uh, it needs to be less tall, 150 maybe. Pretty good. I like that. Okay. Uh, use a width property in the paragraph rule set to change the width of your paragraphs. Paragraph rule set down here. Let's use width down here to control the width of our text. Like, kind of like making text boxes in a way. Uh, let's change the width to 600 maybe. That seems to have made no difference whatsoever. So let's go smaller. 500, 400. There we go. Now we got some difference. And let's go back. Let's see. Let's text align center now. Um, text align center. Oh, it already was, I guess, for the whole, the whole body is centered. Okay, 
Um, I want to align the text right. In those boxes, yeah. I like that. Let's finish. All right, let's jump through some of these fairly quickly. Debug some images. We're on 7.8. These images are all supposed to be 100 pixels high, but the height property is not working. Find the bug and make the images all the same height. All right. Uh, all supposed to be 100 pixels high. Man, we got a lot of H6s, a lot of image tags, a lot of paragraph tags. All right, let's go to the style sheet. Image height 100. We needed a PX there maybe. There we go. That was the problem then. We found that bug, so all I did was add a PX. That does look a lot better. All right, debug the style, origami paper folding. Debug the style, none of the styles are working for this page. Debug the code, then change the styles to something you like. Uh, debug the code. None of the styles are working for this page. So, oh, okay. Um, style sheet, source, style.css. I don't think there's anything wrong with the link tag. Let's see. None of the styles are working for this page. HR. Yeah, the image sizes are all over the place, aren't they? Hmm. Yeah, the background's supposed to be light blue. There's all kinds of stuff that's not happening correctly. What's going on? I'm going to pause for a second. Let's see if I can figure this out. All right, we're back, and we've figured this out. So... This is supposed to be href, not src, like an, an image tag. No. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Now it's working. OK. Uh, and then I'm going to move on. I'm just going to say, I like the way that looks. OK. Uh, debug the heading. The preview for this page looks fine, and all of the HTML and CSS elements are being displayed correctly, but if you look in the code, something isn't quite right that could cause problems later on. Can you spot what code is in the wrong area and fix it? Ah, look right here, immediately. Uh, so between those head tags is the link tag. But right here, we've got an H1 and an H3. So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna control C after highlighting that. Back up the page, and right here, control V. There we go. Um, yep, OK. Fix that, I believe. And that avoids problems that could occur later on by having uh, some of our HTML stuff that we want to appear on the page up in the header. OK. And then add new rules. The rules for the body right now are not very exciting. Add some more to make it look cool. You can also add or change other rules. All right, so the rules for this body are not very exciting. Add some more to make it look cool. I agree, it's not very exciting. Our tree pangolin guy over here, though, is really cool. He's fun. Um, all right. So let's make the background color something better, something more nature-y. Um, burly wood. OK. Yeah, and it kind of goes with, because we're talking about pangolins here, might as well be like a pangolin color, right? Semicolon, don't forget. Um, let's make. Our H1, let's make an H1 rule set, shall we? 
Let's see, what do I want it to do? Uh, let's do a text decoration, make it underlined. And make it the text size a lot bigger. I want it to be like the Bangalan. Uh, let's see. Um, how did we do that? Is the text size? No, not size. And we'll say 40 px. Uh, still not big enough. 40. Yeah, there we go. 50 px. And then let's make each of these um, H3s. Let's grab this. Control C. Just throw it down here. Control V. Change that to a three. Uh, Change the size down to like 30, 25. Uh, 25, there we go. And let's make this like italics. Or uh, I'm not sure how to do that. Let's do no text decoration on these. But I do want to change their color to a green. Oh, not a border. Color. Let's try that again. There's a ooh, dark cyan. There we go. That looks cool. I like it. Really stands it stands out against that background color. Okay. Um, I think it looks a lot better. Let's add a border to this image though. Um, how do we do that? Border style. Let's try to find. Yeah, border style. Uh, let's do solid. There we go. Border. Width, I think, maybe. Yeah, border width. Uh, let's tell it to be like seven pixels wide. That's pretty big. Um, let's change the color of that to match this. What color is that text? Dark cyan. Order color, control V, semicolon, yes. All right, I'm going to make that less thick. Good. I like it. That looks nice. Okay. And we're done. We spent way too long with that. Okay. Fix image width. The images here are all different sizes, with some of them being way too big. Uh, create a rule that makes the width of all of the images the same and sizes them down. All right, so style sheet. And we'll do, yeah, we've got, let's look at how these pictures are. Ooh, Arctic fox, flowers, another fox, a bird. All right, yeah. Uh, so width. And let's do like 450 px. Yeah. Cool. Some nice pictures. Semicolon. Don't forget that. All right. And fix image position. We can just make it float. Uh, move the images using the float property so that they are to the side of the text rather than below it. Okay. To the side of the text. So image float. Whoops. And we'll float left. How about it? Yeah, looks good. All right, finish. Let's finish here. Bubble eight. Try it out. Now that you've seen some different ways to style, it's time to try it out yourself. Here's a web page you've seen before. 
but it needs some style. Give the web page a background color. All right. Oh, there's no style whatsoever. Okay, body, background color. There it is. Uh, we're talking about oceans. Let's kind of use an ocean y color, but you know, Azure is going to have to do it because these pictures won't show up very well, especially this one if I use too dark of a blue. Okay, make all the images go to the right of the page. All right, so let's do an image tool set. Oops, there we go. Uh, make them all float to the right. There we go. And then make all of the text a different color. All of the text, so up here, uh, color. Let's do a dark blue. Yeah, it looks sharp. And then add any other styles that you want. Um, I'm pretty happy with the way that it looks, except that H1 could be a little bit better. Um, let's see, text decoration. Obviously, I love the text decoration. Let's underline it. And I want to put... Um, underline each of these what are those HTML those are h3 tags okay so last thing I'm going to do is do another oh I forgot to put a semicolon there I'm going to copy this that way that stands out a little bit better I'm also going to change the color of the paragraphs. Um, yeah, nice. All right, that looks good. I like it. Finish. Uh, whoops. Okay, yeah. So we just finished bubble eight. It's probably where you're going to get graded. All right, let's go th through these challenges now. Extra code, create borders. We've done that earlier. Let's do it right now. Um, find the rules in the style sheet. The image, uh, the set image borders, color width, change the color. All right. Index, uh, style sheet, change the color. Uh, cadet blue, and then change the width. We did that earlier as well. We'll make it a little bit wider. Uh, try some different border styles, like dotted, like dashed, like that. What does a double do? And then I'm going to change it back to dashed. Yeah, I like dashed for this site. Um, and then put a border on another type of page element, such as one of the headings or the paragraphs. Let's put a border around the paragraphs. Border style. Um, let's do, that's a ridge. Okay, cool. Yeah. I uh, like that. And okay. Finish. Extra code, rounded corners. We did that earlier as well. Uh, over to the style sheet. Uh, the border radius is what messes with that. Uh, and 
let's see, try different values. So let's see what 100 does. Yeah, cool. Turns them into ovals. Um, let's see what like 50 would do. It's nice. Um, let's try like 75. I like 75. Yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, let's finish. Extra code for the margins. Find the margin property in the image rule set. Here's the margins. So, uh, oh, get out of my way. Uh, here's the margin rule inside the image rule set. Um, let's just do it for, whoa, that makes it look wild. 40 is definitely not what we want. Um, although that actually, I like the way that is laid out. If it did it with all of them instead of just two and not the others for some reason. Hmm. Uh, well, yeah, let's change it 30, nope, 15. Yeah, that's, that'll work, 15. All right, choose another element type and give it a margin two. Um, hmm, what would benefit from having a margin? Maybe, maybe the H1. Bottom uh, 50 PX. Let's do even more, 100 PX. Too much. 75 PX, good. I like that. Finish. All right, extra code, background image. OK, the background of an element can be set to any image that you would like, just like when inserting a photo you can use the image's URL name. Find the property in the style sheet that controls the background image. Okay. Here's the background image. Change the image to one of your choice. Okay, so let's find something on Pix for Learning. And let's do geography. Wait, what is this? Types of clouds? Oh, okay, sorry. This is about clouds, so maybe we find an image of a cloud that would make sense for the website. Background cloud.jpg. And it's added over here. Okay. Um, heart in a cloud. That's an interesting cloud. Let's use that one. Download this image. All right, let's head back over and let's add image, upload a file, downloads. There it is, open. All right. And then we're going to change this oh, URL. Hmm? Here's my image. URL background.jpg. Hmm. Well, this is going to be Columbus. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. Probably need the uh, text to be a little bit more vibrant, but that's fine. No worries. Uh, challenge animal web page. All these things popping into my way. Uh, a basic web page about endangered animal species has been provided for you. Complete these challenges to add style to it. Create a background color or image to the page. Um, okay, background color then. Let's add a style sheet. Uh, let's probably link to it, style.css. So I need to, whoa, how did I even do that?
Oh, there we go. Yeah, wow. Okay, so if that ever happens to you, that's how you fix it. This file.css, make sure you rename it so that the link tag right here works. Um, background about endangered animals. Hmm. Background color. Um, cornflower blue. A mm, little too dark. Azure. Yeah, that looks good. And then let's change the H1. Let's do a margin for it. Because I just want it to be up there better. Um, Good, that looks better. All right, more obvious now. Uh, make the images have a consistent height or width. All right. So image tag, curly braces. Uh, let's do width. Select it, and we'll choose uh, maybe like 450 px. There we go. That looks really, really good. OK. Um, give each heading unique styles. OK. So H1, uh, change the font family, color, size. Let's do color. And coral looks good. And then change the font family for sure. I might actually change the font family for all of it. I didn't do anything. Uh, cursive. Yeah. Okay. And then, yeah, let's do a text size for the, for that up there, that H1. Or font size, my bad. And let's do 50 px to uh, maybe like 45. A little more comfortable with that. Uh, let's float all the images to the left. Um, I kind of hate that. Let's change the size of these images then. Um, but first, let's put a margin and a green border around the images. So let's do a margin. Do like 20px. Hmm. Uh, order style. Grooved. And let's do a uh, border radius. Just smooth it out a little bit. Better. But man, look where that text is now. It's weird. Uh, font family, float all the image to the left. Green border, uh, border color. Let's change the width of these, make them smaller so that maybe the text will actually be with each one. No, still no. Oh, 
add any other style or content to customize the page. Well, let's see. Endangered species, that's a paragraph. And then black rhinos is just a paragraph. Hmm. But why is my rhino so far down? You know, maybe if his image tag was somewhere else. Let's see. Control C. B. Yeah, there we go. And then let's move the whale. Oh, did I need to move the, yeah, I need to move that as well. That H6, control C, control V. That's a little bit better. And then the well down here. Oh, I've got to grab all this code. Control C, control V. That fixed the whale. Kind of, if not. Um, okay. And then the panda is down there. I, I, I don't want to spend too much time on it. Challenge dessert web page. A uh, basic web page about desserts has been provided for you. Complete these challenges and add style to it. Create a background color or image for the page. Create a background color or image for the page. So we need to add a style sheet, rename it. Okay. Um, create a background color. And let's do something that will look good with that purple and red in this. Um, floral white. Yeah, that looks good. Fix heading sizes so it looks better. I agree. Um, index. Uh, can I just do it from here? <laughs> Zag target style. Um, give each heading a unique styles, font family, color size, decoration, etc. Okay, so for the H1s, let's do a text decoration. Underline them. And then uh, we'll also change the font family. Something a little more. No, definitely not cursive. Sure. And then, uh, oh, I need to make them unique. We'll see. What all do we have? H1s, we've got H5s. H6s. Um, let's control C, we'll do the H5, control V, H5. I don't want those to be underlined or really have a text decoration for that matter. Font family, let's change that away from fantasy for sure. Um, let's just do send serif for those, send serif. Uh, no, that looks bad. Surf is better. All right. Um, hmm. Each heading round the edges of the images. Okay. Image tag. Uh, border radius. 
Let's do like 15. Add another dessert with a description and an image. Um, I'm going to make that picture a lot smaller too. Um, width. And let's make it like 400 px instead of that gigantic size that it was. And then why isn't the egg tart picture showing up? Hmm. Ah, there it is. We've got that working now. Oh, and why is this this paragraph is broken? Let's fix that. There we go. Man. Multiple problems in here. Add in any other style or content to customize the page. Add another dessert with a description and image. Skipping that. We've got a lot of things fixed. We're good. <laughs> All right. And then finally, you can add to your web page. So that's that. I realized that was a uh, pretty long video at 41 minutes, but not too, too bad. I hope you had a good time. I know that I did solving lots of bugs and solving lots of kind of coding puzzles in a way. Um, kind of digging into the style sheet and learning new rules uh, for our rule sets to really make our pages look neat, uh, especially with uh, floating things to the left or the right, uh, being able to get our images uh, more interesting, changing their size, changing uh, their width, their height, and really getting into uh, changing those borders with the border radius and all kinds of cool stuff. Anyway, that's it for me. Hope you have a good one.